Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Perfect World based on novel. So let's start. Several days later, Chihau entered another region. He found a silver sky centipede that was a hundred jong long. It stretched out on the ground, devouring lightning mist and spreading its poison outwards. Its divine flame burned about it in an abnormally terrifying manner. This place wasn't called the dangerous region for nothing. He met another divine level ancient bug. Shahal made a detour around it, not startling this divine bug that was currently cultivating. The more he explored this dangerous area, the more terrified he felt. These creatures were not few. They devoured lightning radiance and absorbed electromagnetic mists as they rested here. There was nothing he could do about them. Shahal continuously searched, crossing over many mountain ranges. He encountered great dangers several times. Even though there were no trees and it was all mountain rocks, they similarly hid enormous beasts and ferocious birds. He was shocked. Multicolored light sparkled, as if large numbers of fireflies were flying about here. It was extremely beautiful and gorgeous. Shahal was stunned. The emperor butterfly was still a larva that hadn't grown up yet at all yet it already had such great might, no wonder there was that legend that said that an emperor butterfly appeared in the archaic era. With a light shake of its wings, the most powerful heavenly ranked creatures of the world were blasted to pieces, turned into ashes. This race's power is too great. In the end, all of the silver butterflies flew up, rushing in all directions in search of clues. Even though it was like this, Chahal still quickly called the emperor butterfly back fearing that a few divine level silver butterflies might appear. If they suddenly attacked them, the results would be too horrible to even think about. Soon after, Chihau encountered another race golden beetles. This was also a group of creatures that numbered in the thousands to tens of thousands and huddled together like golden kernels. They covered the sky. In the end, the emperor butterfly flapped its wings. With its appearance, these creatures all expressed their allegiance as well. Forget about Chihau even the divine striking stone was shocked, feeling that this was a bit inconceivable. The emperor butterfly was actually this formidable. Soon after, a few populations of creatures began to move about Fiend Island in search of Grandpa 15. Several days later, a silver butterfly flew over, releasing spiritual fluctuations to tell Shahal that it had once seen that single armed individual. There were some silver butterflies that left on their own, departing far from their clan's area of residence. This butterfly was precisely like this, one that had roamed about outside for a long time. It had just returned, what? When Shahau obtained the news, he was immediately greatly shaken. He never expected to see hope so quickly. He hurriedly urged it and said, where? The silver butterfly guided the way. It also told them that it saw him a bit over half a month ago. Shahau was both startled, happy, and worried. His grandfather was still on Fiend Island after all. He followed the silver butterfly for a long distance and finally reached their destination, Grandfather, please tell me you took care of yourself. I am coming. Soon after, several golden bugs flew over, transmitting with their divine senses. That they saw Grandpa 15 just ahead. There were also other people tracking his traces, there are still people trying to find my grandfather. Shahau's eyebrows jumped. He naturally rushed over immediately, full of worry that they were enemies, just like that, he searched through this place. Two days later, they received precise news that there were people who treated Grandpa 15 unfavorably, pursuing him here. Of course, there was another group of people who were searching without any malice. Soon after, he received bad news. The group of people that had good intentions were not able to find Grandpa 15 and already left, use every means possible. Have to find him as soon as possible. Shahal's voice was shaking. He began to panic, feeling fear that something bad happened to his grandfather. This was a great pursuit. It had to be said that the Emperor Butterfly was extremely useful this time, having a group of creatures without deities overseeing them obeying its command and aiding in the search. Found him we are getting close. Four days later, Shahal's chest rose and fell violently. There was a group of earth silkworms, who resided in this mountain range, who had clues to Grandpa 15's whereabouts. These earth silkworms could move through earth, and they also grasped lightning. A day ago, 
they had seen several men and women pursuing an elder. Several hours later, Chahao noticed signs of a middle-aged man and woman. Their speed was neither fast nor slow, and they were following traces left behind by others, also searching for something. Right now, these two were talking softly, discussing something among themselves. He is quite formidable. Even though he came from the lower realm, he is quite the individual. Indeed not simple, actually breaking free from our entrapment several times. This time, we discovered him again. It absolutely must not be a spiritual body. After hunting him down for so long, it should be time for him to die. Shahal operated the divine force recorded in the 10,000 spirit diagram, placing his body in a near non-existent state. He was silent like a ghost as he chased after them. He was extremely nervous inside, fearing that something unexpected could happen. Finally, he reached the destination. Up ahead was a wide open space, but symbols would surge from time to time. Someone laid down a great formation, sealing this place up. There were six experts there, both men and women among them, surrounding a single-armed elder inside. Together with the man and woman who just arrived, there were eight people. There were unexpectedly existences that ignited divine flames among them. Divine flame blazed about, appearing extremely terrifying. I want to know, why are you trying to kill me? The single-armed elder said. He was weather-beaten and worn out. His face revealed an expression of great changes. His body was covered in blood stains as well. It is because you have a good grandson, who has two immortal bones, and someone does not wish you approve of your connection with him. They do not wish for you to use your strange ideology and way of conduct to discipline him, one of them said. My grandson, the single-armed elder's voice trembled. He raised his head towards the sky, his pair of tiger-like eyes containing tears. With a bit of sorrow, he said, I still have another grandson. Another grandson, you are talking about the lower realm, right? He's already dead, buried a year ago. Another individual said coldly, expressionless and callous. It was clear that the single-armed elder already heard about this information a while ago, knowing about this matter. However, he still staggered, feeling greatly pained, as if he was dealt the heaviest blow. Don't feel so sad, you still have a healthy grandson who has two bones within him. In the future, his power will definitely shake all three thousand provinces, becoming number one under heaven. An old woman who ignited her divine flame said. Chin Hao has immortal mountain. He does not need me to worry about him. The single-armed elder felt a bit disappointed. He was originally a man of steel, but right now, he was powerless. Carrying grief, he said, my grandson, how could you die? Shahal came. When he saw this elder so broken-hearted and grieved, his aged face full of hardships, his eyes couldn't help but turn red. Hot tears rolled down his face, Grandpa, I am still alive. When he saw the world-shaking great demonic god whose power dominated all of stone country and now had white hair, an aged face, heaps of wrinkles, and great sorrow, hot tears rolled down Shahal's eyes. He tightly clenched his fists. He knew that the reason why the elder was like this was because he heard about Shahal's death. This left him with huge psychological shock, making his entire person age much more. He was inwardly grieving and mourning. Shahal's face was covered in tears. He shouted loudly inwardly, Grandpa, I am still alive. We are about to reunite soon. He didn't act rashly, because there was a creature that ignited a divine flame here. He prepared himself. He was going to unleash a strike and cut down the most powerful expert, ending the disaster ahead. You are quite the fella as well, breaking out several times and escaping. Not simple at all. An old woman said. A light green flame burned around her. This was a divine flame that ignited after a life form underwent high levels of rebirth. You can die without any regrets. You have a descendant with two immortal bones. In the future, he will definitely dominate the higher realms and shake the three thousand provinces with his power. The words rotten bitch immediately made her look like a cat that had its tail stepped on. The old woman immediately revealed great displeasure and bewilderment. Once one ignited their divine flame, their identity and status became extremely high. In all these years, no one had dared to treat her rudely or berated her like this before. The one surnamed Sher, you really don't know how to appreciate others' kindness. We were going to leave you with a whole corpse before and let you end yourself, but now, 
you can forget about such a thing. The old woman's face fell. Do not take offense, instead, just eliminate him. It's just a dead person, not worth getting angry over. Beside her, the purple-robed elder said. The divine flame around him jumped, shining brilliantly. He had ignited it for many years now, so he was extremely powerful. You all really are disgraceful. Grandpa 15 recovered from his broken-heartedness and spoke like this. Even though he was trapped, he was still unyielding. We really are sick of your stone clan, sending people up unnecessarily into the higher realms to disturb Qin Hao's growth. If not for your Shazailing's identity being too special, it would be best if both of you were killed, said the purple-robed elder. When these words were spoken, Grandpa 15's expression changed. Even Shahao felt an anger surging within him, the symbols within his body continuously flaring. You all still wish to harm Xiling. Grandpa 15's hair flew about chaotically. His eyes widened in fury. He is Qin Hao's father, so I do not think anyone wants to act rashly, so I do not believe you need to worry about these things. You can go on and be a ghost now, said the purple-robed elder. I had been hunted by Apicio and trapped in the Black Forest's forbidden land for more than ten years. After finally breaking out to see my grandson, I never expected that not even this wish could be carried out. This is the greatest regret of my life. Grandpa 15 calmly said. In the distance, Shahao's nose felt sour. His grandfather went out to find Vicious Beast true blood for him, but in the end, he fell to such an extent. What supported his grandfather all this time was the wish to see him too. Even now, while trapped in this predicament, his grandfather still spoke about this regret, feeling grieved that he couldn't satisfy this desire. At this moment, the stream of heat within Shahao's body was surging. He almost couldn't stop himself from roaring out. He reached his hand outwards. However, he knew that he had to endure it. There were divine level experts here, so he had to kill them in one strike. Otherwise, not only would he not be able to save his grandfather, he himself would be in danger too. The old woman's eyes flickered with cold light, dealing another mental blow. That descendant of yours in the lower realm really was formidable, killing seven deities alone, destroying the plans of a few great sects of the higher realms, truly quite formidable. My Hawa, just from how he abandoned his supreme being bone in the end and told his younger brother those words, if he is still alive, he will definitely move unhindered through all three thousand provinces. Grandpa 15 said in a low voice. He felt extremely lonely. Then, he fiercely raised his head and surged with war intent. He was never someone who would yield. Even if he wasn't a match for the enemy, he was still going to fight it out. You can just go die already. The purple-robed elder's eyes were cold like purple blade radiance. He seemed extremely terrifying in the great mist, now is the time. Shahao's eyes erupted with divine radiance. When the other party revealed killing intent and focused all of his attention on Grandpa 15, he moved. In that instant, lightning erupted. Shahao was powerful like a true dragon, rushing out from the darkness, every inch of his flesh erupting with spiritual essence. Symbols covered his body, and divine force surged like the sea. Moreover, in his right hand was a true deity divine artifact, Demon Four Pestle. It was polished from a piece of primordial precious bone that was pure white like jade. There were endless symbols engraved within. At this moment, it boosted Shahao's lightning power to a horrifying level. Deafening thunder crashed down, shaking up heaven and earth. Shahao was just too fast. He activated the lightning while moving, streaking across the heavens like an undying arc of immortal light. No one was able to react in time, not even the old woman or purple-robed elder. At this critical moment, no one expected there to be an assassin hiding in the darkness. Lightning radiance tore through the sky. A youth with disheveled hair emerged, his pupils releasing shocking radiance that pierced through the mist. In his hands was that precious pestle. When he descended, he was like a heavenly deity. Lightning hacked down. The purple-robed elder cried out miserably. This strike was too heavy. It was a lightning down natural law that drew support from a true deity magical artifact. It forcibly blasted his body apart. If not for his strength being great and the divine flame protecting his body, anyone else would have definitely have died, having both their body and soul wiped out. Nothing would have been left behind. At the same time, the old woman also cried out, 
because Shahao brought out a pill furnace that also displayed might. While carrying lightning, it turned into a fist-sized little sun that was dazzling. It pierced through the right side of her chest. With a peng sound, her right arm was blasted to pieces. Blood continuously dripped out. Unfortunately her life wasn't taken. She rejoiced, because most of Shahao's attention had been placed on the purple-robed elder's body. The purple-robed elder's strength was greater than hers, making him Shahao's first target to eliminate. However, it was also because of this scattered attention that neither of these two great deity experts died from this hidden attack, escaping disaster. This change of circumstances was too sudden. Regardless of whether it was Grandpa 15 or the others, none of them expected this. On the other side, the old woman's injuries were relatively better. Her chest was ruptured and her left arm was missing. Shahao didn't speak a single word. While holding the demon four pestle, he directly blasted apart some symbols on the ground. With a flash, he entered the great formation, arriving by Grandpa 15th side to protect him. Only at this moment did the lightning symbols disappear and restore peace to this place. However, the atmosphere was so tense that it made everyone feel suffocated. This happened too suddenly. All of these transformations were too fast. The two great deity level experts were seriously injured, almost killed, making those six supreme experts break out in cold sweat. All of their fine hairs stood on end. If it was them that was attacked, there was no way they would be alive right now. Child, who are you? Grandpa 15 looked at him. He could feel this child's goodwill, and even more so from the tears that were flowing from his face the most sincere type of emotion. Grandpa, I am your hower. Shahal cried out loudly. Tears rolled down his face. After being separated for more than ten years, his grandfather already grew old. His hair was white, and his face was covered in wrinkles. He had experienced the great changes of time. It was different from that grand and heroic, tall and big grandfather, whose black hair scattered about behind him. The difference was just too great. Chin Hao don't look like that. Grandpa 15 was bewildered. He had met his grandson in the lower realm before, and this was not the person in front of him. Suddenly, Grandpa 15 thought of something. His eyes immediately widened, and old tears poured out from his tiger-like eyes. He asked with a trembling voice, You are my Hawa. Shahao immediately restored his true appearance, revealing his original face. He grabbed his grandfather's arm and said, Grandfather, I didn't die. I am still alive. I also came to the higher realms, and I've been looking for you this entire time. Shahao shouted loudly, pouring out his heart that was full of longing and emotions. Grandpa 15 was an unyielding man of steel, one called the great demonic god, but right now, his body shook, and he almost fell. He was incomparably shaken, as he stared at Shahao. Back then, Shahao was still extremely small, so now that he grew up, he looked different. However, there were distinctive traits that he shared with Grandpa 15. The two were quite alike. At the same time, with their bloodlines linked, when Shahao revealed his true appearance, it immediately convinced him that this was his grandfather. He appeared, alive, here, reuniting together. Grandpa 15 roared with laughter, his eyes carrying tears. His entire body radiated brilliant splendor. This was a type of joy brought forth from a type of excitement, a happiness of having his cherished desire satisfied. In the distance, those individuals all became incomparably shocked. From their discussion, they learned that this youth might very well be that Shahao from the lower realm, my Hawa is still alive. After losing his supreme being bone twice, he can still make it through. What else is there that can stop him? Grandpa 15's tears flew everywhere as he laughed loudly. He trembled as he rubbed Shahao's hair and face. His entire body released astonishing radiance, carrying great joy within his sorrow. When the people around them heard this, they all felt horrified. The heavens wasn't able to take this young supreme being's life. In the future, there will definitely be a great storm sweeping through all 3,000 provinces. Grandpa 15's eyes carried tears. He found it hard to suppress his emotions. Originally, he was feeling incomparable sorrow and loneliness, but he never expected that he would actually meet his grandson alive. During these past two years, he always carried a type of misery, but today, he reunited with his grandson, alive no less. It immediately swept away the haze covering his heart. 
This was the best present he received in this life. He couldn't stop laughing. Tears slid down the side of his face. He felt incomparably carefree. Who cares if you don't have a supreme being bone anymore? You can still travel unhindered throughout the 3,000 provinces and turn the higher realms upside down. When he said this, the surrounding people were all shocked. A single person lost his supreme being bone twice, surviving after both times. This was already enough to prove something. Only Grandpa 15 believed that this was his own grandson. The more he looked at Shahao, the more convinced he became. He roared with laughter, tears sliding down his face the entire time. It was clear that this elder became happy to the extreme. You eyes are just like how they were when you were younger, still so big and bright. Your eyebrows are the same as your grandfather's, and your face is also similar. You are my grandson, after all. During all these years, he had always been praying to meet his grandson. From the moment he broke out from the Black Forest's restricted land, the first thing he did was bring the divine pill back to Stone Capital. However, he was disappointed again and again, feeling regret each and every time. In the end, he even heard of his grandson's death. How great of a shock was thick. They were separated for more than ten years. The last time they met, Shahal was still little and inside swaddling clothes. Today, they reunited again, a young supreme being standing in front of him, making the elder feel satisfied down to the bottom of his heart. All of his gloominess disappeared. Grandpa, there are so many wrinkles on your face now, and your hair turned white. I've made you suffer. Suddenly, his mind was shaken, and his face fell, because when he touched his grandfather's back, he detected a terrifying injury. It was extremely large. He suddenly arrived at his grandfather's back, and after carefully inspecting that area, he released a cry of alarm, feeling incomparably anxious. This wound was created by a sharp weapon, extending from the back of his head all the way down to his back, almost hacking Grandpa 15 apart. His body was currently held together by his powerful cultivation, and that was why it didn't fall apart. However, this type of wound was truly there, serious to a point where it couldn't get any worse. Grandpa! Shahao shouted loudly. This was an injury that even cut open his head. Under normal circumstances, he shouldn't be alive. Killing intent long erupted in Shahao's mind. As soon as they met, he saw this scene. It was grievous news, leaving Shahao feeling fearful and draining his face of color. He quickly brought out the heaven and earth pouch, bringing out a half-foot-tall holy medicine that had crescent leaves and sparkling with purple radiance, having Grandpa 15 take it. Don't worry, Grandpa has been surrounded by them many times already, but haven't I still managed to survive just fine? This is even more not a problem. Grandpa 15 looked extremely calm. But Chahao's heart trembled. This wound was no joke. It was too serious. If you didn't come, did you think your grandpa would be killed by them? How could this group of idiots kill me? Grandpa 15 was just as unyielding as before. He looked at the people in front of him with disdain. Suddenly, his face went rigid, because he heard an abnormal sound. He felt as if cold air was rushing through all the fine hairs and pores of his body. If I kill you all, who will leak out the secret? Shahao said calmly, but his words carried a type of coldness. Even the old woman who was about to attack was horrified, standing rigidly there. She quickly looked towards the distance. Everyone became on guard. They gazed toward the heavens, and then their scalps all became numb. The night sky was covered in endless golden armored bugs. There were just too many with no end in sight. Golden light poured down like a great rain, flooding this place. Golden armored bug, a creature known to devour stone and metal. It could swallow any type of tough material and break it down, let alone the flesh of humans. This was a type of irregular ancient bug that liked to move in groups. Once they became deities, that would be a heart-shaking thing. They would engulf the skies, easily capable of bringing about the demise of a great sect. Fortunately, there were no deities among the golden armored bugs in the sky. However, there were so many, making them feel cold from head to toe. With so many here, it was enough to even slaughter a deity. At this moment, everyone's reactions were different. The purple-robed elder's reactions were quite decisive, directly rushing towards Shahao to defeat the enemy by capturing their leader. He wanted to eliminate the primary target first. Meanwhile, 
The old woman quickly backed up to flee into the distance. The other six supreme experts were even more panicking and fleeing. As Shahao brought Grandpa 15 in retreat, the ground broke apart. An endless, innumerable number of strange bugs, earth silkworms, poured out like a sea. They all spewed out sparkling silk to form an enormous web. It was accompanied by blazing lighting as well, blocking the purple-robed elder. These are. There were these types of creatures too. The earth attribute silkworms became one with the great earth, able to move mountains and shift seas. Their divine might was world-shaking. This type of creature definitely lived together in the hundreds of thousands, the most terrifying type. The purple-robed elder turned around to leave. He didn't want to fight to the death. He still wanted to continue living. The old woman cried out miserably from the distance. Her body was tattered, forcibly dragged back. She was covered in blood, her body in tatters, heavens, those are silver butterflies. Those supreme experts all ran back as well. Grandpa 15 roared with laughter. The situation changed so quickly, leaving him completely surprised. Being reunited with his grandson brought him so much joy, and now, there was even the surprise. As for the purple-robed expert, old woman, and six supreme experts, their faces were all pale. They were aware that they had fallen into quite the predicament today. Things were looking very, very bad. In the sky, the emperor butterfly floated down, landing in Shahao's hair. It was the true bug emperor, Kill. The purple-robed elder shouted, activating precious artifacts to break out from this enclosure. However, endless golden armored bugs flapped their wings in the skies, releasing ka ka sounds like that of metal plates grinding against each other. It was extremely ear-piercing. Endless golden light and lightning descended. The golden armored bugs that hit the sky and covered the earth formed a great sea of symbols. They all swept over, suppressing the seriously injured purple-robed elder, immediately blasting his body apart until only a head remained. The old woman cried out miserably. On the other side, silver butterflies shook their wings. Dazzling and beautiful symbols scattered down, causing the lower part of her body to break apart inch by inch. The bug race army was vast and unbordered. This was a huge disaster. Even if a great sect encountered this, they would still feel restraining fear, unable to keep their cool. Shahao's figure vanished, moving like a powerful wind. With the demon four pestle in hand, he attacked outwards. Lightning radiance extended outwards, landing on the old woman's body and hacking at the remaining half of her body, blasting it until it was scorched black and bones that were spotlessly white, but cracked were revealed. Her eyes were gloomy and cold. She berated loudly while stirring up her divine flame to retaliate. I have a few questions to ask. Shahao said calmly. He held the precious pestle in hand while looking down on her, little bastard keep dreaming. The old woman didn't comply and replied viciously, is that so? Then you can just go on your way. Shahao was quite direct, not speaking too much. The sparkling white bone material demon fall pestle flew out, and then with a hong sound, it smashed downwards. The old woman released an angry roar, and all of her hair stood on end, but she couldn't change anything. Her body was blasted apart by the true deity magical artifact, and her divine flame was extinguished. Meanwhile, Shahao turned around, and then like a ghost, he rushed towards the six supreme experts. His palm was like a blade as it sliced towards them, stop. I'll talk. We are from the Qin clan, the ones that operate in the darkness. We deal with a few tricky and complicated problems that cannot be brought to light. We protect and obey Qin Kunlun's commands. We were assigned to kill your grandfather and avoid him from meeting Qin Hao, preventing him from affecting his use of the two supreme being bones. They came from heavenly country, a supreme expert explained from the side. Heavenly country's disciples moved in the darkness, acting under orders to assassinate their targets. Meanwhile, because assassin who had ignited their divine flames had light shining brightly around their bodies, they were called angels of light. When Shi Hao heard this, his eyes burned furiously. The Qin clan truly did know how to scheme against others. For the sake of killing his grandfather, they even released Heavenly Country's assassins. He did not forget about Heavenly Country's blood sacrifice in the lower realm. He loathed and despised this inheritance greatly. Meanwhile, in the ancient era, Ghost Grandpa also died, because of a goddess from this sect, revealing secrets like this, 
it is equal to all of you betraying the Qin clan. The power of the Heavenly Sovereign is endless, and it will inevitably kill all of you. You all don't have any bit of integrity, revealing the clan's secrets like this. None of you will be able to continue living. All of you will be dealt with by the clan's laws. Grandpa, what is wrong? Shahal carried the old man as they left this place. When he wanted to refine precious medicine for him, he noticed that the old man's vitality was quickly declining, almost unable to hold on anymore. This was just too sudden. They were still laughing loudly just now, so why did he immediately lose his vitality? This made Shahal fearful, his face becoming incomparably pale. He cried out loudly, Grandpa, you have to persevere. Grandpa, I will help you refine it. Don't give up. Shahal was so anxious that tears even flowed out. They had just reunited, so how could this type of tragedy happen now? The old man's life flame grew weak, and his aura declined. This was clear a sign of a lamp running out of oil, about to leave this world. This was undoubtedly like a strike of thunder from a clear sky. The thing he wished to do the most after entering the higher realms was to find his grandfather. They had just reunited, both of them full of joy and emotions, but was it all going to end in sorrow, child, don't cry, grandpa is fine. Grandpa 15 was extremely weak, and his complexion was a dull grey. He grabbed Shahao's hand and tried to reveal a smile, who am I? I am the great demonic god, so how can I die? Grandpa, nothing can happen to you. Shahal became extremely anxious. He wanted to refine the holy medicine for his grandfather, helping him absorb the medicine's essence. It was because right now, Grandpa 15 became even weaker. That wound on his back split apart, extending from his head all the way down his back. It was incomparably terrifying, and murderous energy was seeping out. This injury was cut open by a sharp blade. It originated from Heavenly Country's Angel of Light. Earlier, Grandpa 15 had been wounded, but the injury didn't flare up. Now, he couldn't hold on any longer. Heavenly Country's assassins are formidable after all. I fear that this body might not be able to hold on Grandpa 15 sighed and said. Grandpa, don't worry, I won't let you die. Shahal's entire body shone. He sat here, surrounding Grandpa 15 and the holy medicine in symbols. He was going to transfer the medicinal effects into the elder's body. Only, he didn't have any confidence, because Grandpa 15 had already been hacked through by someone, almost turning into two halves. Right now, his essence energy was already about to burn out. Shahal blinked his eyes. He suddenly felt like his grandfather was truly like himself, having a bit of savageness, giving him a false alarm, who is grandfather. I am the great demonic god. Could it be that I have to wait for my grandson to save me? I already said that those idiots couldn't deal with me. The great demonic god laughed loudly. This was one of Grandpa 15th spiritual bodies, and not his real body. Shahal suddenly understood. No wonder the Qin clan's people had also doubted whether this was his true body. Heavenly country's assassins aren't ordinary, their methods strange. This spiritual body of Grandpa, 15, received a deadly injury from the blood sword of one of Heavenly Country's Angels of Light. Heavenly Country, I will pay them a visit sooner or later. Shahal clenched his fist. Then, he revealed a look of worry and said, Grandpa, where is your true body? Nothing bad happened to it, right? Probably about to leave this island, Grandpa, 15, said. He gazed into a direction and lightly said, I am a bit regretful however. How great would it be if my true body were still here? Grandpa, I will catch up and see it soon. Shahal said. The grandfather and grandson's reunion was one with too much emotions and joy. Tears flew everywhere. The two of them had endless things to talk about. The two of them talked about their experiences over these years, sobbing endlessly through this process. Grandpa, did you break through recently? Not even an expert that ignited a divine flame could catch you. Grandpa 15 was already close to lighting his divine flame. He was just missing the final step. Only, recently, he had always been chased after, so he didn't have the luxury of comprehending and breaking through. Grandpa. Shahal cried out. Grandpa 15's time was running out. He became increasingly dim, about to break apart. Shahal was full of reluctance. Even though he knew that this was only a spiritual body, 
He still felt extremely sad. What a pity, this body can't continue on much longer. Or else his grandfather and grandson would be able to continue together Grandpa 15 was quite regretful as well. He rubbed Jahao's head, and then with a peng sound, his body scattered, turning into a beautiful rain of light, thus disappearing. Shahao was disappointed and frustrated. His fists clenched soon after. His grandfather was just up ahead. He had to hurry and catch up. Great mists sealed the skies within Fiend Island, making it incomparably dusky, and at the same time full of dangers. There were all types of strange creatures, and no lack of divine grade beasts. Shahao chased along in the direction Grandpa, 15's spiritual body told him. He turned into a streak of lightning and moved quickly. In addition, he asked the Emperor Butterfly to call the various bug races again to help him search. Two days later, he arrived at the outer region of Fiend Island. He received a piece of information. Heavenly countries, two geniuses humbly asked for guidance. He is not feeling mournful, but instead longs to meet his grandson. We will forge an environment to draw him in, and then have him walk in the trap himself. Shahao saw these scenes through the black crystal bug's memories. He immediately frowned, feeling a wave of worry. However, he didn't say anything and carefully continued observing. Geniuses contend for supremacy, hundred rivers converge into the sea. A great distinguished meeting was about to start. Only, this secret realm was too unique, only able to open once every thousand years. In addition, time was quite limited as well. It also prevented sect master level figures from exploring inside. Every time it opened, five elements provinces sects would all flock over, sending their disciples to enter. It was because this secret realm belonged to the entire five elements province. This time, Immortal Mountain paid quite the price, and only then did they convince the other sects of this province to allow a genius selection great battle in this mysterious realm. That was why at that time, those sects would inevitably gather. Bright and beautiful sunlight descended from the azure skies. There were also fresh and green plants releasing the smell of nature. They were full of life, making Shahao who departed from Fiend Island feel greatly refreshed. During these past few months, he had always been inside Fiend Island, surrounded by electromagnetic mists. The world had always been dusky and black, giving people a rather stifled and gloomy feeling. Today, he finally broke free from that dangerous place, once again bathing in the sunlight of the outside world. He breathed freely, allowing the heaven and earth spiritual essence to nourish his flesh. His entire body relaxed. Only, after resting for a bit, Shahao immediately got up, quickly heading in the direction where his grandfather departed, Grandpa is definitely okay. Heavenly country's angel of light, I will let you experience the feeling of being assassinated. He said quietly. Shahao entered a restaurant, and before he sat down for a long time, he heard all types of discussions. This was precisely what he needed. This time is different from the past. Not only are the disciples of various sects going to head there, a few legendary supreme being youths are going to reveal themselves as well. They will definitely carry out an intense power struggle. Many people were discussing among themselves, feeling great excitement for this distinguished meeting. This was a major event in Five Elements Province. The most powerful inheritors from many great sects would arrive, and the clash between these individuals would inevitably bring about great sparks. By now, everyone knew that the 3,000 provinces were going to have a great distinguished meeting. Meanwhile, this gathering to learn from one another was the same as the flames of battle about to burn. It made the mood even more excited, drawing the attention of everyone in this world. Unfortunately, my cultivation isn't enough, or else I would definitely join in on this excitement, seeing just how powerful those supreme being youths and heavenly ladies are. Immortal Mountain gathered so many people all for the sake of sharpening Qin Hao. It seems like they truly are favoring him. I just wonder if he really can produce the most resplendent results. Qin Hao was not unfamiliar to most people. He left his name on Fiend Island's divine monument, becoming rank one in talent, overlooking the ten provinces, and raising up a great commotion. A single person had two supreme being bones. This was enough to shock the world. It was impossible for him not to attract everyone's attention, rumors had it that this will be the battle where Qin Hao will make his name known. He will fight the young exceptional talents and establish his unrivaled position as a supreme being youth with two bones. 
For a single person to have two immortal bones, what kind of natural talents is this? It had never happened since the ancient times, at the very least not in my five elements province. He will definitely shine brilliantly. Immortal Mountain really has invested quite a lot into this for the sake of holding this exchange of pointers distinguished meeting, they paid a tremendous price to convince the other sects of this province. This is all for the sake of finding worthy opponents for Qin Hao. Shi Hao frowned. Everything really was as how he had heard it in Fiend Island. He felt deeply worried, fearing that his grandfather would hurry over there and walk into that death trap. The people in the restaurant already began to argue over this matter. Some of them believed that Qin Hao's supreme being bone didn't belong to him, and that it was someone else's. Shi Hao frowned, quietly listening to their discussions. In the end, his mind fell. Heavenly Country's Angel of Light did a few things as expected, stirring up a commotion to release some information that might attract Grandpa 15. Origin Sky Hidden Realm was located in the eastern region, not too far from Origin Sky Ancient City. Shahao went on his way, heading in that direction. Along the way, he heard some more information. His parents would also appear, proceeding together with Qin Hao to watch him achieve greatness with his two bones. At the same time, he felt a wave of shock. This was extremely dangerous. He had to stop his grandfather ahead of time, no, I have to release some news to let my grandfather be careful. The Angel of Light was plotting against his grandfather, adding fuel to the fire, releasing some news that he had to eliminate. That day, he used the 72 transformations to turn into various types of cultivators of varying ages. He entered several well-known large cities to spread rumors, Qin clan is undergoing an internal struggle. They imprisoned the supreme being youth with two immortal bones grandfather, sending him to Fiend Island to dig ores. Truly merciless. When news of this was released, it created quite the sensation. Then, news came from another ancient city, big news. A great rebellion has broken out in Fiend Island's black prison, many people broke out. Shi Zhengtian escaped Fiend Island, triggering the Qin clan's fury. They had Heavenly Country send out assassins in pursuit to eliminate him. Secret information this time, Shi Ziling, Qin Hao, and the others will appear in Origin Sky Secret Realm. If Shi Zhengtian heads there, Heaven Country's assassins will most likely use that chance to eliminate him. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.